Let's replace the transmission cooler line on this 2016 Chevy Equinox with a 2.4 liter engine. Let's start by removing the ECM cover. You're gonna push this tab down and slide it up, slide it on the left side. And let's remove this 10 millimeter bolt that hold the ECM in place on top of the battery. Let's slide it. It'll come out. We'll put it on the side, just like this. Now we're going to remove this cover here. You have three push pin. Gonna use a trim tool like this, or you can use a flap disc screwdriver to remove it. There you go. Now we're going to remove this 10 millimeter as the battery battery hold down and you're gonna remove this 10 millimeter nut here so you can take the bracket off. There it is. Now let's remove our battery terminals. Let's start by removing the ground side and we're going to use a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench so you can remove the positive side. There it is. And our battery is ready to come out. Now we're going to remove our battery tray. It is held by three 30 millimeter bolt let's remove this 10 millimeter and we're going to remove the ec line bracket it is a 10 millimeter nut And let's push out this push pin that holds the battery positive cable to the battery tray. You can use a plier like this to squeeze it and push it at the same time. Push it out. There it is. Now we're going to remove our transmission cooler line. It is held in place with a C-clip. You guys might not be able to see it on the video, but there is a C-clip there that secured the transmission line to the cooler. So you're gonna use a pick like this to retrieve it and so you can take it out. It's just a game of patience, guys. That's all it is. There it is. Set on the set on to the side. Now we're going to wiggle our transmission line until it come out. Have a bucket ready. And we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom. It's a little tricky, but you guys might not be able to see it. It's further down, but you're gonna do the same thing with the pick and retrieve that sickly that hold the line in place. There it is. Now we're going to remove a 30 millimeter that hold the distribution cooler got two lines, the inlet and outlet. You're gonna use a long quarter inch in the swivel 30 millimeter to loosen the nut that hold the line in place on top of the transmission. Um it's coming out. For whatever reason, GM decided to weld that plate here to the body so you can't remove it. It is welded. But it's doable. You got the line out. Now we're going to put the car up in the air and take out the transmission line. It is located in the back of the transmission. You take your tire out, the driver front tire, and you'll see that 
stressing millimeter knot we need to remove it there it is perfect now we're going to switch back on top we're going to remove our old line out it's just a game of patient guys um just be patient it will come out there it is the longer one is it be tricky to remove but it's still doable now let's pop out this bracket that holds the two transmission line in place we need to remove it so you can remove the line separately out of the car one by one now we're going to do the shorter line no i've had the longer line there it is and with our new line we're gonna put the longer one first we're going to slide it from the top make sure you keep that washer in place it's very it is critical to keep the washer and don't lose it if not it's going to leak there is a washer at the tip of the line the one that plugged into the transmission make sure you keep it in place you slide it back from the top to the back of the, um, the transmission and you're going to pull it and put it in both in place there is a washer if you guys see pay attention to the washer in between the transmission and the line so it doesn't leak There it is. We're going to attach the first line, the longer one, attached to the pop of the transmission. Make sure you put your sickly back in before you put the line in place. You're gonna use a click when you're fully seated, and we're going to put our line in. You're gonna use a click as well when it's fully seated, pushed in. Click. And you put the black cover over the connector. There it is. We're gonna put the C clip and the bottom connector. Same procedure. We're going to, have to put our shoulder line, the one that is on top of the transmission. We're going to slide it under that bracket and put it in place. Make sure the washer is there, the gasket, and put that, put that 30 millimeter nut in place to secure it to the transmission. And we're going to push that line in and the cooler assembly, and you'll hear a click as well, and put the black cover. I'm over it. We're going to attach the bracket so you can stick the two transmission line together. Let's tie our, our transmission cooler line knot and we'll do the bottom one now. But while we add it, we might as well put the top of the transmission fluid. I would strongly suggest that if your transmission be leaking for a while, um, it might need more fluid than that. That is vehicle right there just started leaking, so it didn't lose that much. I only added half a quart of Dextron 6. Make sure um, if it's been leaking for a while, you might need more than that. Make sure you top up your transmission fluid if you believe you lose a lot of it if it's been leaking for a while. There it is, half a quart of Dextron 6. And I suggest you do it while everything is out because with the battery tray in place in the ECM, it's very hard to get access to that fill plug. Tie it down. Let's prepare so you can put our battery tray in place. Speed up the process.
how the positive cable in tie it down same thing for the ground side let's put our the bracket in place the ECM bracket And just like that, the vehicle is ready to be started and I secure the ECM in place and the vehicle will be started pretty soon guys. And that's it, that's all there is to it guys. Um, thanks for watching and see you on the next one guys.